Hi there, Embodied Waters. Let's look into your messages. What is coming up for you at this time? Six of Cups, the Empress, the Moon at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance or some kind of concealment, something that you could be concealing right now, maybe hiding. It has to do with gifts. So you could be in a place where you don't truly show what you are made up of. Yeah, so the Six of Cups, it could be some returns of gifts, memories, and the Hanged One. The Hanged One is enlightenment, a shift in perspective. Your entire world is shifting. And the Six of Pentacles. So this Six of Pentacles is returns once again. The Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is going to be happening very fast. 10 and 6, 16, the tower could be a rapid transformation going on for you. This is a rapid transformation. And from now, today, the 19th of November, until the end of Scorpio season will be significant. The star, Aquarius. So this is Pluto in Aquarius that is bringing you these returns. Could be some rewards. Wow. Queen of Cups. Some rewards, some gifts coming in. Wow. I feel this is telling you also to move in silence with what is coming in. The Hanged One, Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups could be an offer or something to do with your dreams, your dream space, your visions. Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups, Princess of Cups. There's a shift coming to you. Six of Cups again. So the Six of Cups coming twice. A lot of harmony. You could be... You could work in some philanthropy or some giving work. And this is coming to you for a reason. It's a powerful gift that is coming to you because of your, your capacity for giving. Okay, okay, because of your capacity for giving. And the one thing that your guides are telling you here. It's like you have, you know better now. You know better. Because there are some situations that will come back around wanting this. But you know better to give to situations. So it's a, an abundant place that you're coming to in a nutshell. So it's a way of saying. You could be building your community. Or you're going to be directed to how to make use of this. This abundance. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. I mean, I see the Hanged One once again. Your entire world is shifting. And 12, 12 portal could be significant on the 12th of December. Whatever is coming to you right now, keep going with it. But this is like life turning 180 degree for you. What is coming to you? It feels, <laughs> it feels gorgeous. It feels spacious. And let's count the pentacles. Nine and six is fifteen. Plus ten, twenty-five. So seven pentacles. This is to do with investments. Your the seeds that you have planted. Ooh, the seeds you have you have planted. They are coming to life. They are. Blooming. Blooming. Six cups, seven, eleven, twelve. Twelve cups plus six, eighteen. So that is the moon. You could be on a divine feminine journey. This started long before 
the 99 portal in September, the full moon in Pisces activated this further, and now you are doing some like remnant or you're doing some decluttering, but this work that you're doing feels like you're changing things around for the better, right? And there's a lot of abundance coming in for you. I feel really good about this. The Ace of Pentacles, there's that renewal. And you see the star. Pluto in Aquarius is bringing you this news. Wow. Okay. What do we have from Angels and Ancestors? Medicine Guardian. 111. So this is also bringing you a lot of like expansion in every area. Heart Guardian, love and let yourself be loved. So there's a wish fulfillment coming to you and it is just what you need. Wow. I'll stop here for now and I'll come back with the weekly readings as well. There's something peeking out. What is this? Yeah, Scorpio season is significant. I think I saw the Ten of Pentacles. I saw the Death card as well. There we go. Seven of Pentacles is regarding your investments coming to light. Bye-bye.